Hi everyone, in this video I discuss how to make use of the truth tree test to determine whether or not a pair of propositions are equivalent to each other. Let's begin with the definition of equivalence. A pair of propositions P and Q are said to be equivalent to each other if and only if P and Q are true and false under the same interpretations. In other words, whenever P is true, Q is true, and whenever P is false, Q is false. Why might we care about equivalence? Well, for one, we might consider two people uttering a proposition, but uttering it in different ways. For example, Jane might say, if John proposes, then I will agree to marry him. Where John might say, either I won't propose to Jane, or Jane will agree to marry me. Now, these two sentences look different. They have different structure. But according to a logical analysis, they say the same thing. That is, they're equivalent to each other. That is, they're true and false under the same interpretation. Whenever what Jane says is true, what John says is true. And whenever what jo Jane says is false, what John says here is false. So we care about equivalence to the extent that we want to know if what is being said in two different utterances is the same thing, except it's expressed in a different way. So we said that a pair of propositions P and Q are equivalent if and only if P and Q are true and false under the same interpretations. A truth tree will show that P and Q are equivalent to each other if and only if a tree of the stack not P double arrow Q determines a closed tree. Let's consider why this is the case. So if P and Q are equivalent, then we know that the truth value of P is equal to the truth value of Q. Whenever P is true, Q is true. Whenever P is false, Q is false. If the truth value of P is equal to the truth value of Q, then a formula of the form P double arrow Q is a tautology. This is the case because a biconditional is true whenever the two sides of the biconditional have the same truth value. And if P and Q have the same truth value, then a, a formula of the form P double arrow Q will always be true, and therefore it will be a tautology. So if a formula of the form P double arrow Q is a tautology, then according to the truth theory test for tautologies, the negation of P double arrow Q will determine a closed tree. That is, if we run a truth tree for not P double arrow Q, it should show us a closed tree, and what this will reveal is that P double arrow Q is a tautology. Alternatively, if a truth tree test for not P double arrow Q does not determine a closed tree, then what we know is that there's an interpretation such that the value of P does not equal the value of Q. And if the value of P doesn't equal the value of Q, then P and Q are not true and false under the same interpretations. That is, they're not equivalent to each other. There'll be a situation where perhaps P is true and Q is false, or P is false and Q is true. So in short, in order to test two formulas, P and Q, to see if they're equivalent, we simply write the formula not P double arrow Q in a truth tree, and if the truth tree, once it's been decomposed, yields a closed tree, then P and Q are equivalent. If it yields a completed open tree, then P and Q are not equivalent. Let's look at a short example that we won't flesh out completely. We might wonder if P right arrow Q and not P V Q are equivalent. To test this, we would first start by taking those two formulas, creating a biconditional out of them, and negating that biconditional. In other words, the truth tree setup for this formula would involve the negation of the biconditional formed from those two formulas. The next step, step would be to decompose the tree, and then we would check to see if the tree was open or closed. If the tree was closed, then we would know that P right arrow Q and not P V Q are equivalent. If what resulted was a completed open tree, then we would know that the two formulas are not equivalent.